welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Jatara BNA thank you so much for tuning in to today's extended weekend vlog okay so if you are new make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video right now because we are about to get into some things I say extended weekend because it's currently Thursday and I'm already on PT yeah so I had a short work week my man is in town we about to go out on some dates it's also my sister's graduation weekend she is graduating from Oregon State University so I get to see my family friends etc and have fun so right now my man just touched down in my city because I'm in a long distance relationship y'all but we are about to go to breakfast I don't know where we going he said get dressed let's go so we got dressed and we about to go okay so come along with me <laughs> So I know I have been a horrible vlogger, honestly speaking. I've just been living in the moment, but we are currently on our way to brunch. I'm so excited to eat some food. We're going to my Antonis. It's in Alexandria, and they have some really, really good French toast. So I'm excited about that. It's like French toast and chicken, which is like the best combination. But we're headed there. I know we went out to eat the other day, but baby, we big backs, okay? We got some big bags, so we're we're gonna fuel our systems, okay? And then later on, we're gonna celebrate my sister for her graduation. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go because of the weather, as you can see outside. Um, but I watched her online on the live stream, and I'm so proud of my sister. excited for her these are new beginnings for her so yes 
we are going to celebrate so stay tuned okay and i'm gonna link back with y'all when we get there <laughs> Hello, my love, my friends. So it is Sunday. We are about to wrap up this extended weekend vlog with some skincare. Girl, I just feel like after that weekend, I need to wind down. And honestly, I haven't spoken to you guys face to face a lot throughout the video. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to catch y'all up through everything that went down and kind of explain why I was missing it actually throughout this vlog because I definitely do normally talk way more throughout my videos especially vlogs because i want to keep y'all attention i want to update y'all so y'all feel thoroughly involved throughout the video but yeah let's do a quick little recap while i'm washing my face for the girlies who are intrigued to know what cleanser i use i use la roche posay it is the um it's the gentle cleanser correct yeah and it's the purifying foaming one they have another one that kind of reminds me of vaseline when you rub it into your skin and i hate it and i got these cute little arm things off amazon girl because they really come in handy when you're washing your face and like brushing your teeth so the water doesn't run all the way down your arm but yeah so recap my man came into town the first place we went to was tate kind of like latte with a tea i love it it's like a bakery but they also have some really good dishes um and it gives you brunch vibes, not just breakfast, which I really appreciate. Because usually I like to get more savory side versus just sweet when it comes to my breakfast. So I would give that place um, an 8 out of 10. It's not like a normal restaurant. It does give like coffee shop vibes. So if you want to even go there just to get some work done... Um, I wouldn't recommend taking no calls, girl, because it's loud in there. It's super busy, but, like, a lot of people clearly like it because it was jumping. Like, it was really, really packed when we went. But I like it, and I like the area that it's in. It's uh, down Old Town, Alexandria, and they also have, like, African-inspired dishes, and that was what I got. It kind of reminded you of a potato soup kind of vibe, but for breakfast, it had, like, a poached egg in the center, along with bacon and toast. And my man just got, um, uh, what's it called? He just got a breakfast sandwich on a croissant, and he also ordered a cookie, and we both got some chai lattes, and everything was really good. It tastes really good. So yeah, after that, we walked around, came back home. The next day, we went to the Artec house. This is our second time going. Um, I'm blanking on the exhibit that they had the first time around, but when we went recently, like this past weekend... They had uh, a seki, I believe that's, oh, a saikai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was like the Japanese Blossom inspired um, exhibit. So if you're into Japanese Blossoms, if you're into anime, if you're into karaoke, if you're into AI, digital artwork and things like that, you will really, really enjoy the exhibit. But this time around, you get to like um, purchase tokens. It kind of looks like you're paying poker and you get alcoholic beverages with them. So when we order our drinks, we didn't pay with money. We paid with the tokens that he purchased online, I guess. And that was really unique. Um, they also have some really cool, like, Asian-inspired drinks. And they were really strong. And the bartender was nice. So, yeah, the museum was literally, like, 10, 15 minutes away from this amazing restaurant that my man found. It's new. It's Italian. It was great. It's called Cocino marina or something like that y'all when i tell you the food was amazing it was so stinking good the vibe is like dark sultry sexy so it's perfect for a date night it is very loud so it's not that quiet and intimate but i think the ambiance makes up for it just because you in the middle with dc baby you're in the city it's going to be a lively situation probably regardless of where you go some things that i would recommend ordering though is the rigatoni the calamari the focaccia bread it was really really good that oil Mm, oil bread combination is so good um the salmon the yellowtail looks really good too we didn't order the yellowtail but the salmon is good i thought it was gonna be cooked um in like a regular little salmon appetizer dish it's not it comes out like sushi but i was perfectly fine with that as well and what i don't recommend y'all getting is the clam 
little seafood um spaghetti that's what i got and it was kind of bland i literally had to add some sauce from my man's dish to mine to make it taste good so i can actually eat so yeah um we ended up not going out to celebrate my sister's graduation we just had our own celebration in the crib so that was pretty intimate and just like family close friends etc so yeah didn't want to pull out my camera um clearly you can tell on my channel if i'm with my man or my family i usually don't pull out my camera and get much content just because those are intimate settings to me i'm in a long distance relationship and i'm in a long distance relationship and i'm also the um distant family member so when i get around them i like to give them my undivided attention it was also my little brother's prom send off but it wasn't traditional he didn't have a date or anything like that he's like real chill and low-key but anyways i had an amazing time with my family and now that my skincare is all done we about to go make a quick little mocktail to cap the night off okay so mom i have some ice in my wine glass and what i'm gonna put in it it's a little bit of orange juice Okay, vitamin C, we love that. Probably about yay much. Y'all hear that crackling? That's how you know your ice and your drink gonna be hella cold. Um, because I've been eating a lot of food being a big back lot this whole weekend, we are going to top that off with a little bit of kombucha. Um, Health Aid isn't my favorite. It has a lot of additives and sweeteners, like sugar. So, I recommend getting the Synergy ones just because they're a little bit better for you. And they also taste amazing. Like the strawberry lemonade one is too doubtful. But these was cheaper at the grocery store, so... Yeah, I'm gonna add that. And since that color is a bit like eh, I'm gonna add a little bit of, I don't know how to say this word, grenade, grenadine, however you say it, syrup. Yeah, we're gonna add some rose syrup. Just to top her off. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. I'm using a knife to step her up. That's a little ghetto, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cheers, bestie. About to see what this tastes like. I've never done this combination. Ooh, that's good. Mm. That is good. I want to I wanna have a dry cooking summer. But the way my friends and family members like to celebrate, like y'all last night, I took about five shots of tequila after having um, mimosas at brunch. Like, oh my God, what are y'all trying to do to me? I really want to do a dry summer, but girl, my birthday in the summertime, I'm trying to go on trips. That don't seem likely, okay? But I know this was a quick vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, comment down below what was your favorite part of the video was, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm.